Oh, hi learners. Let's have a look at this question from 2020 exam. This one is a two marks question. I'll read out the statement. Consider the following data path diagram. Consider an instruction. R0 is loaded with sum of R1 plus R2. The following steps are used to execute it over the given data path. Assume that PC is incremented appropriately. The subscripts R and W indicate read and write operations respectively. Then there's this five line uh, implementation of the above instruction. They're asking which of the following is correct order of execution of above steps. Okay. So these steps, these five steps that they've given in question are not in correct order. We need to find the order in which we need to execute these five steps to perform this addition. Okay. First thing before executing any instruction is to bring that instruction into CPU. That means instruction register must be loaded with that instruction. That's the fetch cycle. Okay. Fetch. So first step is fetch. Then you will decode that instruction to realize that you need to add. For addition, you need to bring first operand into temporary buffer or temporary register temp1. Okay. Second step is decode. And upon decoding, you will realize you need to load this register. Okay. Temp1 is loaded loaded appropriately okay third step is you will perform addition then you will get the result in temp2 from temp2 you need to move the result into this register or not these are the steps that need to be carried out okay now let's analyze this question or the statement Okay, so in these five steps, let's find out where is the fetch cycle. So you can notice PC is only used in third step. So this has to do something with the fetch cycle. PCR means PC is being read. M-A-R-W. That means memory address register is being written. What's happening is this register, this PC is given a read cycle, uh, read control signal and memory address register is given a write signal that means its value travels to mar memory address register gets whatever address was stored in program counter so i am sure probably by now you know that only these two registers are in direct contact or connection with memory this one stores the address whatever address we want to search or update yeah, it's saved in memory address register and whatever data we want to save is saved in MDR or the data that is fetched from this particular address gets saved into MDR. Okay. Now we have loaded this address into MAR. Okay. So this address from here travels to this register and second step is memory is given a read signal. So this register is loaded appropriately. After this, you can just issue a read instruction or read signal to memory. That way, memory will be read at this address, okay, MAR, which is actually the address saved in PC. So instruction number three is going to be the first one. I'll, I'll not call it an instruction. It's a micro operation, you can say. Then after this, whatever is loaded from memory you know that it will travel via the data bus and will sit in this register called mdr okay now mdr contains the instruction that we have just fetched but we cannot decode an instruction which is an mdr we have a special register called the instruction register for this purpose that means this fifth step is going to be going to follow this third one because we need to move our instruction from mdr to instruction register 
okay by executing these two steps what we have what we have done is fetched the instruction and placed it in instruction register now the hardware will decode it and the cpu will get to know it's a add instruction okay for adding we need one of the operand in this register which is temp1 so let's see where do we have temp1 here it's temp1 okay here also we have temp1 so probably this one is the next step because r1's value the first operand this r1 is being moved into temp1 how how is it being moved because we are giving a read signal to r1 that means cpu wants to read rather the bus wants to read from r1 and temp1 is given a write signal that means you are telling this register temp1 to copy whatever value is on bus okay so uh, r1 r1 is here r1 writes on to bus this one copies from the bus effectively data travels from r1 to temp1 okay so what we have done is r1 now contains first operand now everything is ready we can just add by issuing a add signal to alu and specifying which register to use for the second operand so this one is surely going to be the next step because it has a alu add signal okay so 2 1 what's happening here is temp 1 is issued a read signal that means temp 1 will place its value onto this bus the bus which connects temp 1 to alu okay now alu has one operand then second thing is r2 is given a read signal that means r2 r2 will be somewhere here will place its value on this bus which effectively means its value will also be available here that means as a second operand to the alu okay alu now has both of the operands available it will add and the result is written into t2 because t2 is given a right signal okay that means t2 will copy the value present on this bus now what we have done is we have added r1 and r2 the result is available here the only thing that needs to be done is copy this result into the desired location which is r0 so the step is fourth one yeah you can notice temp2 is being read that means the bus reads from this register and r0 copies the value this register will copy it okay so by doing these five steps in this order we can effectively add two values okay so your answer is 35214 you can see which option it is or let me verify if it's even present 35214 Yeah, it's option C. So your answer is C, and I hope to see you in the next video.